Put on the YouTube though. Man, we all the way in Montgomery, Alabama. Came out here to get a call for the new project. Uh, it was a beast trying to get the thing out. It must be meant for me to get this call, man. Look at that. It was a beast trying to get that bitch out of the yard because it, it ain't running right now. We got a problem with the flywheel, but uh, shit, we made it work. Took up a few chains, pulled it, pushed it up the trailer. Ain't nobody got hurt. Ain't, ain't nothing got damaged, so that's all you can ask for, man. Uh, I ain't gonna do too much recording on this car, cause this is just a pause car. We're gonna bust this down. A steep ass hill. We almost rolled it all the way up there and let it roll down to the trailer, but that might have been a bad idea. We got that thing on here, man. This is just a pause car, so I ain't gonna dig too far into it. We just using it for parts, then we gonna junk it. Sell it for parts, then junk it. Probably sell it more than shit. It got a uh, small block 400, but my PNC, man. Many months later. Oh, we rolling. MC with the with the factories on. I got my factories on right now. Had a little, little accident, man. A little boat boat. I think it was the guy that cut my grass, bro, but he denying it. Scraped and scratched me up. This shit gonna get fixed though. Mr. Gidden not gonna fix it for me. If he stop acting like he's super book, nigga, no, he ain't no super book. Anyway, on to this. This was supposed to be a project. I was gonna restore my grandparents' car, which is low in mileage. I don't even think it had 100,000 miles. My grandpa passed in 2016, grandma passed in 2004, they left the car. It was the only owners of the car. It was a 79 Bonneville. Car hard to get parts for. So I went to Mississippi to get a parts car. I think I gave the dude like a thousand dollars for this car. For this junk car. Just to get some parts off it. Cause it's gonna be cheaper to do that than to get than to buy parts individually. And it's hard as fuck to find parts for this car. Look at that shit. It's hard as fuck to find parts for this car. So this was the best move. And uh, getting busy with work and shit, I took a while to go pick up my grandparents' car. But everybody was, uh, everybody understood that that what I was gonna do with it. My aunties, my uncle, my mom. My mom was looking forward to it. She was talking about how she was gonna drive it. So, long story short. Somewhere along the line, my uncle and A.T. decided it took too long to get the car. So they fucking jumped it. I don't know if it was a financial decision. I don't know if it was out of spite. I don't know what the real reason it was, because they still never told me. It pissed me off, but at least to today. I got a junk car that I've been having on Facebook market for like three or four months and can't sell it. Cause it's really just a parts car. The bitch ain't got no titles. It don't run. The interior don't look all that good. And it's rough. But it was perfect for what I needed it for. I was gonna get what I needed off of here. And then I was gonna uh, junk it myself. So after trying to sell it on Facebook Market for the last three or four months, I decided I was gonna get rid of it because it's in the way and I got another project coming to tomorrow. Well, my homie Cody on his way to pick it up from Texas today. And I ain't got the room for all these cars that ain't running. Plus, every time I look at this bitch, Cause the car was mechanically perfect. Like I said, less than a hundred thousand miles. My grandma and grandpa just used to drive it to church on Sundays. Drive it on different occasions. For the most part, the car ain't even broke too many times. So I just was gonna use shit like this fender. Uh, I think we might have gonna use the bumper cause the bumper was rusted out. Just gonna use the trunk lid. Solid. Missing a lock in 
ass all tore up, but we was gonna fix that. And I think the tail light bezels was gonna use that. But I think I was trying, I priced it at a thousand dollars. I was hoping to get at least somewhere around six or eight hundred dollars. So many people hit me up, they wanted it so bad and all that. I worked with whatever price they gave me with. And all of them flaked. Only they had some older white guys can't check it out. They was the only one seriously came as if they was gonna buy it and they checked it out. They just was like it's too rough for what they're trying to do. So that's understandable. But it, them coming over showed me at least they was somewhat serious. Um so today I got a homie come and pick it up and he gonna junk it for me. They junk calls, they got a little business, they junking calls and uh dude told me he give me a hundred bucks for it. So that's that's a big L. Losing out on about a thousand dollars roughly, cause between the gas to go six mile six hours to Alabama to get it. And then uh rented a trailer. I need to buy a trailer, but I ain't got one yet. So rented a trailer, that's about another eighty bucks so Spend, it's probably spent about two hundred dollars to go pick it up between gas and the trailer. Then a thousand dollars on the car. I think I paid around nine hundred to a thousand for it. And then um, inside all tore up and shit. The inside of my grandparents' car was way cleaner. This bitch looked like it been flooded. Inside of my grandparents' car was damn immaculate. Probably needed to shampoo the carpet and uh do the headliner because the headliner was sagging but it looked way better than this here so man it, it's a tough sell bro and i i understand like i get it. it that's why when i had it listed i had it listed as a parts car i had it listed as a parts car for sale it's all good though It, man. Oh, dude, gonna give me a hundred bucks for it. He's gonna junk it. Then we got a cutlass coming. And we're gonna build, we're gonna build the cutlass, man. Well, I'll probably cut that part out of the video. I don't want y'all to know what I'm doing. But we got another project coming. I'm gonna surprise y'all with it. But this bitch is gone. Junked. And I can move forward with it now. And he gonna be looking and he gonna be looking for a European and can run across one. 